Hello everybody and welcome back to another character showcase. Today we're going to be checking out the tainted version of the Sheriff. For those of you that have seen the original Sheriff, essentially he has a little six shooter gun and fires off shots and has to reload them. But the tainted version is quite different. He's kind of a challenge character. He starts with a sawn off shotgun, but the only way to reload it is by switching with Q to your whip and whipping the shots the shells out of enemies. It's pretty interesting. You've got to go a lot of back and forth and switching about. The mulligan's pretty decent here. I like that. Um, switching between shots and trying to make sure that you manage your ammo. And you'll see that enemies get this little sort of pattern underneath them. Essentially, when you whip an enemy, you get one ammo, but then every follow-up shot you land on an enemy that's got that circle gives you another one ammo. So it's it's, it's pretty easy, especially on single targets, uh, um, like bosses and stuff, to keep your ammo in check. But on rooms with a lot of enemies, especially weaker enemies, it can be a little tricky. And this guy, from what I've seen so far, from what I've tested, really doesn't have great damage. So you do have to be a little sort of wary like that, look, in, in that scenario there, like, it kind of feels like the sawn off shotgun should kind of have like a proptosis style effect, where the closer you are to enemies, the more damage it does or something. And it might already have that, I'm not entirely certain, but obviously it does do more damage when you're closer because you're going to hit more pellets, but it'd be also nice if the pellets did a bit more damage themselves, if that's not already the case. Because this guy definitely struggles if you don't get uh, a good few damage upgrades. I mean, even now we're like struggling to kill some flies. Uh, but... As I said, he is kind of a challenge character, so maybe that's sort of part of the challenge is that um, you've really got to be careful and manage things correctly because you do not have a lot of damage to work with. But I'm sure, I'm sure in Isaac, Isaac's beautiful wisdom, it won't leave us in the lurch and it'll give us a damage up reasonably soon. But that, that room went pretty well. I feel like we played that reasonably well. You kind of want to enter a, enter a room with your whip if you don't have full ammo. And then carry on from there. Oh, man, this is going to be an awful, awful room. Because we can't one-shot things, and then we have to whip them to get our ammo back. Oh, man, it's going to be... The, the, also, as well, the whip does, like, barely any damage. It does do damage. You can kill stuff with it, but it's not at all promoted by the by the mod. Um, it, it very clearly doesn't want you to use the uh, the whip. Good thing is I can do stuff like that. The whip does have spectral, which is at least something. Oh, man. Okay, mulligan, mulligan's very nice here, at least. See, look there. I killed that enemy with the whip. Okay, but the, uh, something I didn't actually test out. Can the whip still get stuff over... No, it can't, but it can't push stuff around. It can't get stuff over gaps, but it can at least push stuff around, which is at least somewhat useful. Boom, boom. Yeah, I feel like that should have killed that guy, and considering how close I was to him. If I, if I point blanks on with a sawn off shotgun, I would expect it to hurt. Okay. Let's whip it up. Good, good, good. It's not, like, I gotta say, it's definitely not impossible. Like, this guy is pretty okay, especially once you get, like, bosses, because you can basically set up a situation in which you can just spam fire. It does seem, by the way, that this guy would benefit from fire rate upgrades. I was unsure, but it does seem his fire rate is a little limited. But yeah, basically, you get these little radial things underneath the boss, and you can just spam fire at them. I lost my soul heart there, unfortunately. We did get a tears up there, so we can actually figure this out. Yeah, that fire rate definitely seems to make a difference. Nice. Okay, let's carry on going. But we're going to want damage more than anything, I think. Starting at only 2.9, I do wonder why they decided to lower it from 3.5. We've got a burn heart here to work with, potentially. Boom, bow. Oh, that didn't kill that guy. What? It's not even splitting the flies in one. I feel cheated. Oh my goodness, okay, I got hit there. Well, I don't think Devil Deal is going to happen, I'll be honest. Um, sometimes Fire Flurry of Weak Tears, that could be decent, I guess. Yeah, it's a bit of uh, it's a bit of creep and stuff, and it's some extra damage, so I don't mind it. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, that's kind of nice. We can, does it, does it work with the whip? Nah, I was hoping we could fire the flurry of shots with the whip. Technically, I could just sit back and make this a little easier for myself by doing this, but it's going to take 
more time than it should, because like, as I said, the whip doesn't seem to do a, an awful lot of damage. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll grab those. Why not? This this room's going to be rough. Okay, you are going to... Okay, Actually, he wasn't as big of a pain as I was expecting him to be. Oh, dude, the, uh, the creep pots are uh, causing problems. Oh, no way that hit me. Okay, we got there in the end. We got there in the end. Gamble. Damn it. I was I was hopeful. I knew I knew it couldn't kill me, so I thought I'd give it a go. Alright, let's get our whip out again. Whippity whip whip whip. We are ready to go. I gotta say, small flies like this, being able to whip them to death is uh reasonably nice. And I do wonder if I wonder if my, my damage stat is at all tied to my whip. My whip's gonna do more damage once I get more damage. Cause it seems to do maybe like half my tier damage or something close to that. Good, got rid of you. The flurry of tears is uh is is gonna be super super useful. Just having that creep damage on occasion. Lovely. All out of ammo for the next room now though. Oh, oh. I wonder what like how how it would be if you just like refreshed ammo and going to the next room as well, potentially. Ooh, that's beautiful. A fire rate and a damage up and a pretty hefty damage up at that. That is going to make a, a good bit of difference, I would say. I mean, even just that shot there proved it. I mean, killing that guy in one shot is not something I'd expect. Ooh, um, I think I will take double soul of Kane. Thank you. I honestly don't know where best to use it, to be honest. I'm not great at finding red rooms, as you all probably already know. Um, but if I can find a room that's appropriate, then I'll go for it. Let's try and find secret room here. Guess I'll just pop that. Boss disc. Where the hell am I gonna use these soul of canes? I'd like to find an ultra secret room. I could get into the cash room. Actually, that wouldn't really do anything for me, would it? Um. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try that room that I just walked past. This one here. Soul of Kane. Get my whip back. Yes. Once you get them all whipped, it's actually not too bad at all. Just getting them all whipped is not the easiest. Unfortunately, Soul of Cain didn't do much for us there. I'll try and use the second one, but I guarantee I don't end up finding it. I'm just really, really bad at finding the uh, the Ultra Secret Room. I apologize for those of you that expect more, but I just can't do it. Soul of oh, no, there you go. I did it. Yay, troll on you actually popped. Right, what we got going on this time? Vault of Havoc. Very interesting. I do like the Vault of Havoc. Basically, we've got to kill enemies to fill it up, and then once we filled it up, we have to kill all of those said enemies. Which is a bit sketchy, but it can give you some really, really good rewards, so I don't mind it. Uh, I'll probably take that as well, actually. Oh, wait, that was regular penny. I thought it was a trinket. We're going to want our whip out here to start off the fight. Shop, we actually are nearly able to uh, afford something, so maybe it's worth uh, checking out the shop real quick and seeing if we can afford... Yeah, there you go. We'll grab that. Why not? Lego We've not got anything that does anything on hit at the moment, Lego so it's not stud. the best. But once we do, once we do, it's kind of nice to have. Right, let's whip it to the limit, and bossing shouldn't be too bad here. Ooh, kind of wish I had Spectral Shot right now. Okay. Not got the best speed here. Oh, you're going to be a nightmare with all these rocks in the way, aren't you? It's going to be a fun one, though. It's going to be a fun one. Oh, there you go. There you go. We got some HP. I think I'll probably go Angel Deal here. Um, I, th I think my health is quite precious right about now, so let's stick on the Angel Deal path, potentially. I did get a Devil Deal, though, surprisingly. I wasn't expecting to get one there. Ooh, and we got a Library here, which probably not going to take anything from here, uh, permanently at least. Um, yeah, we'll just grab that. 
That's a book to have. We do get a Glass D100 here, which is honestly tempting, but I don't think the best thing for us right now. I'm not going to carry any cards, because I imagine swift, uh, swapping between Holster and uh, Whip is going to be an absolute pain if you have a... Uh, if you have a cards in your pocket. I don't know how that's actually going to work, to be honest. Ooh, this guy is a... Uh, a pain. <laughs> oh, man, that was beautiful, though. Boom, bow. We're going Angel Deal, so that's, uh, that's, that's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. Ooh, mushrooms aren't going to be too bad because we can just spam fire on them. Honestly, whipping an enemy that's like stationary or like a single enemy and then uh, having high fire rate, you can do some really good damage. Also, we are getting some nice trinkets right about now. Um, Yeah, I'll pop this open at least. I don't think I'll open the other one yet, though. I honestly don't know how I didn't take damage there, but thank God I didn't. Oh my god. The good thing is the whip does do that knockback effect. So I can push enemies away from me if they're getting a little bit too close for comfort. Hey, we got another key to open that up. And wire coat hangers very, very nice for us here. Another pretty big fire rate increase. Do I want to do Vault of, Vault of Havoc straight away? I probably want to try and get the angel deal first, just in case. Good, good, good. Yeah, I've got Vault of Havoc ready, but I don't think I want to go for it quite yet. Okay, I'll bomb that and see what it is, even though I can't grab whatever it is. It's a Golden Troll Bomb. How inviting. Okay. Back over to the whip. Nice bit of money there. Little bit of extra angel chance. Nothing crazy, but... Nice nonetheless. I didn't even see there was a room over here. Stay away from me, little creature. Okay. Are we okay? Are we okay? I don't know if these enemies die when the rest of the enemies in the room die, but I just want rid of them. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We do have a golden heart, which I think protects us from losing our angel deal on our first hit. Although I'm not entirely sure about that. Right. We whipped him. But he can whip us! Ah! No! <laughs> Shit! So I did lose my angel deal there, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I did the one attack that's, like, pretty bad for us, so... No angel deal for us, unfortunately. Uh, we did get some good health out of that, though. That's a real shame, that is. I'll Vault of Havoc, though. Um, oh, no, I won't. Apparently, I don't have 12 enemies in there. Only 10, which is weird, considering I've definitely killed 12 enemies. But you do you game, I guess. Right, now, now I've got 12 in there. Oh, God tier item here. God tier item. And we got... Only got 1.5 on range, unfortunately. We did get 1.2 on fire rate and 1.3 on damage. That's what matters. That's pretty good. Oh, uh, I got a Bob's Rotten Head lobbed at me there. This is a sketchy room, this. Ah, oh, come on now. There you go. Hey, do not want the tick, thank you. Amnesia's whatever. Okay, I think we're out of here, then. I think we're out of here. Actually, have we been to the shop yet? Well, I don't think we have, have we? Let's go and see if we can find the shop real quick. No Bob's Rotten Head for me this time, thank you. Oh, my little ghost, he died. But he, he does drop a half soul heart when he dies, so he died for, for a good reason, kind of. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, I'm actually pretty happy with the setup we got going on right now. I feel like we're able to output some pretty decent damage. Decent enough, at least, to keep us going. Even if it is a little bit scary. H how on earth did those shots miss? Hee <laughs> hee Beautiful. Come on, filigree. Please work for me. Please let me get an angel deal eventually. I've got I've got soul hearts now, so I should be okay. Oh, we have a key. God damn it, I walked all this way. I've had a goddamn key. I wasn't paying attention. Darn. Don't think there's any way we can get a key now either. I think we've seen everything there is to see. That is a right shame. We'll uh we'll head on our way though. We'll get it on the next floor. But yeah, um, the Havoc Vault's going to be real sketch for us, but I'm going to try and utilize it to the best of my abilities here. I'm going to try my best. We'll see. I apologize if you hear me sipping from my drink. We can do Havoc Vault in another room here, actually. Whip you. Boom. Um... That creep lasted a while. It's going to be sketchy doing this with uh, this HP. Really, I got this room layout again. Really, really, really hoping I wouldn't get this room layout here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's that seems fair. Oh, my God. The hell is this room layout? There's so many room layouts you can get for Havoc Vault. This one is by far the worst. Of course, I get it bloody twice in a row. I, I literally gambled on this only because I didn't expect to get this room layout. Blue map is nice. Let's get out of here. Ugh, lost all my soul hearts. I'm annoyed. I just can't believe the, the, the goddamn, ugh, oh, the start of that room where they just cornered me and pushed me against the wall. It was an evil game, it was evil, and you know it. Oh, dude, my mini Isaacs all have guns. This is amazing. Come on, mini Isaacs. We can do it. We can brave the wild. Kill him. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Now, when I switch to whip, will they all whip? <laughs> I wonder. No, they don't. Too scary to activate that. Yeah, no, no bobs rotten head. These enemies have been absolutely horrible for us so far. Okay. Havoc Vault's ready again, but I'm not doing it with this HP. Guppy's Eye? Potentially kind of nice. Is this secret room right here? I'm really, really bad at picking out what the secret room is meant to be. There you go, it is. Gun that can kill the past. Removes your oldest item from the inventory, including quest items like the key passives. Three choice pedestals appear. Um, the new items from the same pool as the one you lost. It can be used three times. It's risky. It's really risky. Oh, okay, that's that's very nice. We'll take we'll take that. Thank you. Um I'll also do it on this as well. And what else what do we get here? And I think I think I've got to keep my um my devil's flurry thing here, don't I? I think that was overall pretty good for us. Mulligan is nice, but I think that we got a decent item in return for losing it. Calm down, you. Thank you for the soul heart. Right, I'm gambling on this again. Okay, thank god it's not the same room layout this time. Although we do get these enemies yet again, which I 
just... I keep forgetting that it's whatever enemies I kill. Oh my god, this is so sketchy. This is so sketchy. How is this little red dude still alive? Get out of here. <gasps> dude, we got Twisted Pear. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh boy. I, I'll be honest. I was not expecting Twisted Pear. Hello there. Um, that's, got, that's got some good items in it. Ooh. This is tricky. Um, let me bomb you. And then, let me bomb you again. Cool. Right. I'm gonna put- I'm gonna put four keys into this and see if it works. It did open, okay. We got number one and whatever the hell this other one is. So we'll take number one. That seems decent. Our range isn't that bad. Suspicious heart randomly spawns either two blue flies, a half red heart, or a rotten heart. Doesn't seem very good, does it? Yeah. It's not, it's not what we're looking for. And a pinch, that could be a good item. Also, we have 7.776 fire rate, okay. Oh, we have three ammo now. Dude, we have three ammo. I, I was asking, I was wondering if there was a way to gain more ammo. We have three ammo. So there is a way to get more ammo. I'm guessing that's because of number one, but I'm not entirely sure. Um... I'm going to play the hell out of you for a potential HP upgrade or a soul hurt. That is that is not what I was looking for, but thank you either way. Dude, our damage is so good with Twisted Pair now. But apparently... Excuse me? Oh man, I am... This character needs more damage. <laughs> I just point blank shot a maggot with Twisted Pear and it didn't die with 7.15 damage. How are you going to lie to me and tell me that doesn't kill that fool? That's ridiculous. I just lost my angel deal chance because of that stupidity. That is silly. That should have been an easy, easy, easy one shot. I don't know why it wasn't. I'm also firing creep literally everywhere at the moment, which is very nice. Heart of China is actually pretty goddamn good for us here. I like that. But I'm, oh man, I'm actually really upset <laughs> that I lost my angel deal. I better get an angel deal on my 23% chance here. Otherwise, there is going to be downs to be thrown. I am throwing down. Right. Hello, good sir. The, the lag is uh, is pretty, pretty bad. Maybe at this point we might want to get rid of our uh, creep throwing situation here. Even though it's good, I think that is a major, major cause of our lag. And we do have an item that could get rid of it for us. So. I'll take a risk and I'll get rid. Can you stop going off of the screen, my guy? It'd be nice if I could hit you. <laughs> Dude, this is a really frustrating boss fight. I can't goddamn hit him. Fiend Folio bosses being the best designed bosses in the game here. <laughs> there you go. I'll definitely take that. That should give us some damn good stats here. Want to give me one damage up. But, some health, some speed, some shot speed. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, let's go get rid of this uh, this Devil's Flurry item. Because it's it's causing some issues. Okay, we uh, we have passed into the point where we now have four shots because of our fire rate increases, I believe. Very, very nice. Boom, bow. Kidney stone? I genuinely don't know how that would work. 
but I, I'm guessing I'm gonna take it just to see. Like, could be weird. Oh wait, now I only have two shots. Oh, okay, kidney stone works. We have we have uh, assessed that kidney stone does indeed work. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it would. It most certainly does. Wow. My God. Right. Let's um. Let's get our whip out again. Oh God. Careful. 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 Please let us get an angel deal at some point here. Really? Every single enemy turned its head then. Everybody knows we hate these bad boys. <laughs> Just let me get behind you, you stupid fool. Thank you. Well, thank you for killing yourself there. That was rather generous of you. It seems that even with these extra shots from Twisted Pair, I'm not doing all that much extra damage, actually. I don't really know how that's even remotely plausible, but... Ooh, if we get a key, we can get in there and get the screw, which should be even more fire it. Which I like. I want to pop one of these guys open and then whip them and see what happens. Yes, that's so many shells. Oh, I got hit again. <laughs> Honestly, I am devastated right now. What the hell? I threw that bomb so far. I think I'm whipping it as I'm throwing it. Damn, where's all my keys at? Game, where's all my keys at? Ain't got no keys. Oh, dude. The game seriously needs to drop me a key very shortly because there is some real good stuff here also 46 percent chance don't you dare take this away from me look, look at that look how many shots are like point blank range i just sunk into that fool it did like nothing <laughs> the pellets on this are bugged or something i don't know what's going on That's not a key. Ah, oh, whip. Hit him. Oh, man, this is... <laughs> Give me a key, please. If I miss out on all these items. I'm going to have a major league hissy fit. Push pin could be interesting, but filigree feathers supposed to be better if it ever allows it to work. Really, we've got this room again. Luckily, this room wasn't actually that bad this time. Dude. 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 I need keys. This is... I, I, I did that specifically in the hopes that I'd get keys from completing it. Did, did I did I harm someone in a previous life? Someone that was really into keys, because this is uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Give me those hearts back, thank you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you can't just keep giving me bombs. Why did I even... Why did I talk? Answers. I mean, that's technically a key. Oh, man. 
I'm, I'm a bit peeved at the moment. I'm a bit peeved. There's a lot and a lot of rooms to do without getting a, a goddamn thingy. That doesn't quite reach. That's annoying. My twisted pair are having a really hard time knowing how to function with their this here. Okay, dude. Okay, that that hasn't gone off in a while. I don't know why that randomly went off there. You just keep doing you, I guess. Oh, there are so many potential items on this floor for me to grab. If I had keys. Ooh, yum heart. Great. Just take it slow. Let's have a look see where the key is. Oh, is the key in the locked chest? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. There's a key over there as well, you... Uh, you bastard of a game. I hate you. Genuinely having severe anger issues against you. Oh, my good giddy god, it's a key. Now, the problem is... The problem lies now. Where the hell do I goddamn use it? I went in here literally looking for more keys. Sadly, I did not get so lucky, but I did get a burn heart, which is kind of nice. Could that heart come to me, please? Oh, dude, heart. Hey! Heart! Get over here! See... Item rooms are good shout, but I think... I think, honestly, the better idea is to grab, um... So grab smooth rock, smooth stone from in the secret room. Like, this is such a good item. It gives us damage, and bosses over a certain amount of health take more damage. It's just a very, very good damage item. There's so much more for us to grab. You took a while to explode there, good sir. Right, so if I hold fire and then release, that's when I... Start firing like a madman, right? Still not really sure. Okay, there you go. Eternal Heart? The game's kind of making up for itself a little bit here. Still would like another key, though, to get in here. Looks like we're leaving an item room undiscovered. Unless the uh, the boss room or the, bo the room before the boss pays out the way it should. At least we got the Mother's Love item there. That was pretty good. That's a key. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm starting. I'm starting to like you again, game. Now, do I gamble and go to the shop and hope I can buy another key and get an item? Nah, I, I don't. I don't. I think that's too much of a risk. The game is playing with me already. It's toying with me too much. I cannot put my trust in the in the shop. What I can do, however, is get a two times damage multiplier based on our speed, which is, yeah, <laughs> pretty hefty damage up there. Okay, feeling good now, feeling good. I think our damage has reached a point where we shouldn't have too much issues for the rest of the run. But we have we have taken our sweet, sweet, sweet time with this run so far. Like we have really, really taken our time. It's kind of crazy. 
Oh man. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Bit of HP there. HP's looking real good too, which is nice. I like that. A little bit of a sip of my drink. A bit of Fanta lemon. Mm. Lovely stuff. Dripped it on myself. Lovely. Our bullets are like pretty big now as well, look. How are you not dead, good sir? I think our whip is actually doing quite a lot of damage now. Okay. We good. Hey, we got the HP on the stun. This is the best layout, I think, because I, I think it always has those fool's gold rocks. It's a good bit of money. Haven't had an item yet, have we? Oh, no, we got Twisted Pear once, didn't we? Have One of our best items came from that, actually, so I can't say it hasn't given us an item yet, because it definitely has. <laughs> oh, my God, a key? What the hell is that? Flood the room with shots. Bomb that bad boy open. Oop, there's a tinted rock there at least. I, I do care about that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Good bit of HP. Right, I'm, I'm beeline it straight to the boss item room here. That's all I care about right now. Things are about to get hectic. <laughs> it only really works for one room, but it does a bloody good job of that one room. It's kind of wild. Yeah, I'm just going to bomb out of this room. I just don't care. I don't have time for your weird puzzles. It's not even a puzzle, really. It's just a, it's just a minor inconvenience to me is what it is. We've got the Gravestone guy in here. I didn't realise that would be an enemy that could spawn in here, but apparently he is. Easy. Wow, that's a lot of money. See, these things are wild. They're so good. Havoc Vaults. Generally, not that dangerous. I'm not going to say they're easy, because they're not always, depending on the enemies. But they're generally not that dangerous, and you can get a good amount of stuff out of them. Yeah, our whip is definitely doing a lot more damage now. I feel like it does like 20% of your base damage or something. You can use it as a weapon. It's just not encouraged. Why do those guys take so long to explode? We're finally going to get an angel deal this floor by the looks of it. If we can find the boss, that is. Reed's butt, I will take. That I will take. Unfortunately, nothing in there I'll take. Okay, oops, second secret room. Didn't even realize that was there. Check that out. Nope. <laughs> I, honestly, I see those colored blocks and my brain just goes, no, no, no. Don't want anything to do with them. I do not like them at all. I need to get uh, re-sprite for these blocks because they don't look great. Uh, apparently these blocks count as enemies too, so... I just created a room with a ton of these. That's kind of funny. Ooh, Shattered Dice. Shattered Dice has proven to be pretty spicy for us in the past. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Shattered dice is uh, is interesting. H Havoc vault's good, but it takes up a lot of time. It's why we've been taking so long, and I think we've gotten a lot of value out of it already. I think it's perfectly acceptable to switch it up at this point. Right, boss, where art thou? Kind of forgot we hadn't seen item room yet, to be honest. Good 
good. Ooh, potentially quite an interesting item here. The Crystal Shard. Um, it became Ipecac. What? Not entirely sure what happened there. Oh, uh, of course. I completely forgot that it. Um, we've we've got the we've got the. Do you know what? Do you know what? No. Do you know what? No. Shattered dice, I relinquish you. And I'm going to actually give myself the Crystal Shard. Because the developer, unfortunately, didn't get to see that item showcase last time. And I said I'd showcase it. And this seems like a fun run too, so let's do it. Give Crystal Shard. Remove Ipecac. Okay. Much better. I'm interested to see how this works, and I, I I will relinquish my shattered dice in order to do that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> That's pretty cool. Right, uh, what we got going on here? Take this. It's a book. Full heal if you don't have any red hearts and three soul hearts. That's actually potentially kind of interesting. It's not good right now, but it's potentially kind of interesting. The rosary. Well, why the hell not? Not that, not that we can have the fire rate, but there you go. Right. Yeah, Crystal Shard's a cool item, and the last time it showed up, I couldn't take it because it was on the Doctor's Fetus run, and it kind of broke everything. Um, and, and honestly, Ipecac, I wasn't that interested in because it massively lowered my fire rate, and it changed my damage, and it's just like, I've got an interesting run going on right now. I don't want, I don't want that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Model Rocket could be rather intriguing here. Whoa, that's so cool. Okay. So, Model Rocket, um... Ooh, hello. Is that, is that Bookworm? It is. So Model Rocket, um, the way that it normally works is it just, your shots start stationary and they accelerate. But because of number one and the mod that we have that changes it, the number one arcs it into the sky as it's hovering and then it launches and it looks really cool. Bunch of rooms with nothing in it. Look at that, that's so cool. Oh, dude, the shards also do it too. Oh, dude, I'm so, so glad I took um I took the crystal shard instead. This is way more interesting. Look at look how cool that is. You cannot deny. That's Model Rocket has made this very interesting. I like this a lot. Ha oh, ha ha, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I think I've got Spectral Tears now. Let me just check that. Yeah. Or at least they're going over the rocks either way. Put them on here as well. Yeah. Bit of Dice Shards. Not Dice Shards there. Uh, rune Shards there, but I think I'm okay for them, thank you. Don't know where I'm going to use my full heal. I've not really decided yet. Ah ha ha ha, I really like this. The sound is so nice as well. Look at that chain reaction, baby. It's beautiful. Hopefully we can go the right way here. Unfortunately, the womb has been a little bit annoying to us. <laughs> it just has such a crazy chain reaction. It just keeps going and going and going. Get my whip out. 
I mean, our damage is just so good as well right now. We're able to do a lot, even with just our whip. Dude, I hate the womb. Just let me go the right way. If there was item room, wouldn't care. But there is not. Oh lord, um, 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 those enemies don't react the best to the crystal shard. There's some recursive action. Hey, this is a good chest for us. We see what's in it. Unfortunately, not much good, but then we can full heal ourselves with our book. Beautiful. I love that the shards spawn from enemies that aren't dead yet and do some damage to the, that enemy as well. Look at that, like, you can kill enemies like that are multi-phased. I very much enjoy that. It's boss time. Beautiful. Golden penny on pickup. Not the best this late into the game, but thank you nonetheless. This is cool. I'm liking it. I am so unbelievably glad that I uh, I got rid of Ipecac and the Shattered Dice. Although the Shattered Dice would have been cool to keep. We've kind of already showed it off. Yeah, there's some... Okay, so these enemies that are invincible... That you see, I'm pointing at my screen like you guys can see it. You know the little black fly that's floating around that makes it invincible? Um, the, the Crystal Shard seems to have some weird recursive action going on because the enemy isn't dying. When it, when it thinks it should be or something. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but it might be something to look into. I know it's like some weird compatibility and it's not obviously your duty to solve that, but if it's plausible to have a look into that, it might be worth doing so. I love the spread now. The spread means I can just like hit a whole room with this thing. Wow. <laughs> that was a really stupid way to lose a burn heart. It's a big ass pill. Wow, it telepills me into the room next door. <laughs> Epic prank, bro. Oh, actually, I could play this guy, maybe get something good out of him. Oh, slick spit. Very, very nice. Oh, my speed increased my damage. I forgot about that. Ooh, slick spades are doing some nice stuff there. I like that. Yes, baby. There you go. <laughs> Set that on a. I would like to do hush, but I think we're a little bit past the timer on that. A little bit past the timer. Thirty-eight minutes. <laughs> Oops. Now that was havoc's vault. Havoc vault's fault, I think. We spent a lot of extra time in the havoc vaults messing around. Beautiful. That just. That, that like, I think the, the one of the coolest things about having the model rocket is just that, that really cool delay of, like, you, you shoot an enemy and then, like, a second later is when all the shots fire and start killing everything else. And a second later, those enemies put out shots to kill another few enemies. I just think that sort of way of it being, like, step by step is just, it just, it just looks really cool. Hey, cat food's not bad. Is that everyone? No, it's not. It also seems to give us a bit more range as well. Ah, oh, man. I'm loving it. This build really came together towards the end. 
Also, both those fires have stuff in them. You can to walk into it. And there's a tinted rock in it. This room was very lucrative for HP, I'll say that. Oh, dude, that um, that little that little ghost we just got for that fettered heart counts as a familiar, and so Mother's Love is giving us extra stats. Oop, didn't mean to walk into that, but there you go. That's also another familiar. Yeah, I don't think you're living through this, my guy. <laughs> the crystals. Oh, like, one of the things I absolutely love about this as well is that Model Rocket and the Crystal Shard are two completely different mods, and I guarantee the developer didn't even think about that as a potential interaction. Because obviously it just interacts with Tears, so he knew it could interact, or she knew it could interact. But I think the fact that, um... The, the, I say I say she. I, I've actually spoke to the person, so... Um, anyways, oh, these aren't the items I wanted at all. Hell. Anyways, they're going to be like, oh shit, it does that with that item? That's so cool. <laughs> the same way I was. I think it's just cool that, that can happen with Isaac. It's one of the reasons I still like I still like playing it, because it's still just things that you've never seen before, even still. Oh lord. I find it funny that those key guys give you extra stats as well. Die? What's, what's going on with you? Why, why won't you die? Oh lord. It's happening. It's It kind of looks like a salvo missile. Do you know how like the missiles launch directly up and then herm in on? It looks like a salvo missile. It's so cool. Yeah, that guy is a... Uh, Another enemy that's causing us issues. We might end up crashing the game here. Because this guy is uh, not letting up. And I'm not able to switch to my, switch to my whip here either. Let me escape this hell. Please, thank you. Is that Cricket's body? Oh my goodness. I don't know what that's going to do, but it's going to be It's going to be crazy. Oh, it also gave us more fire rate, which means we're on five now. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, I like the fact that you can get more ammo. I just think on most runs, you're probably not going to end up getting more ammo. <laughs> I just managed to get an insane amount of fire rate here. What soul is that? Turns all trinkets into crack keys. That's a really cool idea. Not that it's useful for us now, but that's a really cool idea. Alright, boss, where are though? Oh no. Another... It, just, in general, if a fiend folio enemy is invincible, this item shits itself. <laughs> Look at it. It's just, it's pretty beautiful, to be honest, when you're looking at it. It's just a bit laggy as all. Also, by the way, very, very minor amount of you. I have seen a few comments in the past being like, why is your game so laggy? Uh, why did this run lag? And it's because I've got a lot of mods on. And then some people are like, oh, well, just disable some of your mods then. No. <laughs> My answer to that is no. I have a very nice modding setup and I like it. I play it because I enjoy it. And it gives more variety to the runs. I know that obviously on showcase runs, you might not always want it to be have every mod on it. Um, you might want to just want to showcase a single item sort of thing, but I actually kind of like it. Also, I think we're going to kill this guy like through all of his phases by the looks of it because of this item. Which is interesting. Definitely unique. This is something I haven't seen before. <laughs> yeah, invincible enemies really... Uh... Okay, no. Unfortunately, it didn't quite cheese it as I was hoping. It's still... Is making us fight the next phase. But I'm sure the same will happen again here. Yeah, it, it's weird. It's weird. Crystal Shard has some funky business going on with it. Right, just one shot and then he's dead. <laughs> 
Oh, wait, no. That time he wasn't. Oh, no, there you go. He was. Okay. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A very interesting look at the tainted version of the Sheriff. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.